afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Lima Senior Gymnasium, where today in the Division III District Finals, the Spencerville Bearcats tackle the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook, alongside Evan Skiller and our entire WSN crew. Today's keys and pregame is brought to you by Lima Chevy Cadillac, the premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call you this home. Evan, they're saying it's the game of the year in Northwest Ohio. What's the keys for each team to win? Yeah, it definitely is. I'm really looking forward to two great teams being on the court. And when it comes to keys, let's start with Spencerville. First is pace. They're playing against a team that likes to push the tempo. They're going to guard all over the floor. So Spencerville is really going to have to focus on playing at the pace that they're comfortable with, which is going to be a tough task. Next is perimeter defense. Now this Titans team can score inside, they can score outside, but it all starts with moving the ball around the perimeter and getting open looks. Spencerville is going to have to be really good at staying with their man, closing out hard, but not allowing penetration and having the defense collapse. And then lastly, it's limiting second chances. This Titans team is going to crash the boards, right? So Spencerville has to turn around, they have to box out, and they have to win the rebound battle, which is not an easy task, like we said, against a tough Ottawa team. And look, Ottawa Glandorf comes in as the favorite. Everybody knows that. What do they have to do to get the win against Spencerville? Well, their first key is pressure. We just talked about how they want to pressure all over the floor. Spencerville is going to try to control the pace. The Titans want to do the same, and it's going to be up to them to control the pace and apply that pressure all over the court. Second is post play, right? So they are great on the perimeter. We know that. But if the Titans can get the ball inside and really make that defense collapse, they're going to open things up for their shooters all around the perimeter. So getting the ball inside and being effective around the basket is going to be huge. And then lastly, they have to settle in early. You mentioned it, Danny. The Titans are the favorite. And so if they can get out to an early lead, play their game, and settle in, they'll be in good shape. It's Spencerville, it's Ottawa Glendorf, it's a sold out gymnasium, and we'll have all the action right here on WSN. Welcome back to Lima Senior Gymnasium. Our scoreboard sponsor today is the Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio Distributor of the Structure Pergola X Ultimate Outdoor Division of Alts Seamless Spouting. So partner, we are jam packed in here, a sold out gymnasium for the Division Three District Finals. They've been waiting for this game all year. We have fans standing in the aisles, Danny. <laughs> know, right? It is crazy, and I've been told there are still people trying to get in, there are still people in the parking lot. This is crazy. I, I this, yeah, I've never seen it this full. Right, and this just goes to show how supportive communities are of their high school teams in this area. These are two programs, historically very good, but Good programs usually have a lot of buy-in from their communities. And just take a look at what we see tonight, and you can see a great example of that. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups first for the Spencerville Bearcats. They'll start number three, Josh Henline, a 6'2 senior guard at 16.5 a game. Number five, Evan Osting, is a 6'2 junior guard at 5.7 a game. Number 11, Dylan Smith, is a 6'2 senior guard. He'll come in at 14.2 a game. Number 23, Carter Sutoff, is a 6'6 junior. He'll come in at eight points a game. And rounding out the starting five, number 24, Carter Orr, is a 6'2 sophomore forward. For the Ottawa Glandorf Titans, they come in at 21 and three overall, led by coach Tyson McLaughlin. They'll start number three, Grant Schrader, a 6'1 junior guard at 3.9 a game. Number 11, Theo Mags, is a 6'7 senior forward at 12.5 a game. Number 21, Hunter Stuckschold, he's a 6'2 senior guard at 8.5 a game. Number 22, Colin White, he's the leader of this squad. The 6'6 junior comes in at 20.5 a game. And number 24, the sharpshooter, Caden Erford, the 6'4 junior, he comes in at 13.7 a game. So everybody's been waiting for it, brother. We got the gym full. The teams are here. You and I are here. <laughs> We're crowded in here. What's going to happen today, Evan? What's going to happen? Well, you're going to see a lot of good offense, but I'll tell you what, you're really going to see some good defense behind the officials of Terry Bogart, James Clay, and Daryl Phillips. But I'll tell you what, Danny, you look, and yeah, there are the leading scorers on this team. You look at, at Spencerville, Josh Henline, 16 and a half, Dylan Smith, 14.2. On the other side, two guys in double figures, Colin White, Theo Mag, both in double figures. But I'll tell you what, both of these teams can get contributions from elsewhere, and you can't just key on one or two guys, right? So you look at the three-point percentage for a couple of these guys from Ottawa, 40% from Levi Unterbrink, 36% from Hunter Stack Schulte. Those are the two leading shooters over there. And then on the other side, I mean, you look down the list, Owen Sensiball, Coach Sensiball's son, a fantastic shooter as well for Spencerville. Again, you'll see a lot of different players score in this game. Don't just watch those really good two or three guys from each team. So we are set to tip it off here in a jam-packed Lima Senior Gymnasium, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, the Spencerville Bearcats, the district final in Division Three. Danny Hobart, Evan Skiller. The tip is controlled by Ottawa Glendorf. 
They'll bring it down the floor. This is Erford. He'll bring it down the ball down the floor. He's guarded by Henline out top. They'll go Mag top of the key. Mag dribble drive. He'll go back around baseline up. Jumpers up. Off the mark, rebound to Mag. Mag misses the shot, and we got our first foul of the game. Danny, one of those keys to the games was boxing out and rebounding for Spencerville, and already we've seen an offensive rebound and now a foul. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. And there you see on the Matt's, he yeah, Matt's Heating and Cooling uh, replay, Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. So right he, there, Mag was just all alone underneath the basket. That ball was up there for a while. No one even touched him. He just sat there and waited for it to come down, and a great free throw shooter as well. He knocks in the first two, and it's two to nothing on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. OG leads early, 7.39 to go. Spencerville breaks pressure. They'll bring it down. Carter Orr brings the ball down, gets it over to Josh Henline. Josh Henline guarded out top by... Caden Erford, a great match of two really good athletes. They'll go they'll lose the ball. Here comes Colin White down the left side. He finds a Hunter Stecksholder racing down the floor, misses the layup. Nice rebound by Mag. He'll go back up and he'll score. Theo Mag. He's got all four right now for the Titans. They lead four nothing on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Theo does a lot of things really well. Right there, you saw him get that rebound, but he was tucked underneath the basket, felt a little space behind him, so just quickly got back and made that shot. Owen Sensabaugh with a three from the right side. It's off the mark, and it'll go back to OG. So Owen Sensabaugh, the freshman guard in the lineup now for the Bearcats. He is the coach's son. Really good shooter, Evan. Yeah, he really is. He can knock it down from all over the place. And I'll tell you what, that's a good, good looking shot as well, getting open in the corner like that, just not converting. But that's what you want if you're Spencerville. Move the ball around and get some open looks. They got Grant Schrader on the side here. He'll go back to Mag. Mag dribble drive to the base or to the free throw line. Goes up left handed. Are you kidding me? Theo Mag has all six right now for the Titans. He's on a roll and they lead 6 0 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, Spencerville is going to have to keep the ball from getting inside. That's a really good job by Mag. He's really felt the defense. And a nice jumper there by Carter Sutoff, the 6 6 junior. When Carter Sutoff gets down in low position, he's really good down low. Yeah, and the best thing for that play for Spencerville was that Theo Mag got away from the basket as he was guarding his assignment. That's going to be a turnover. OG tries to go down low to Mag, and Mag, the ball goes off of his hands. It'll go back to Spencerville. So with 6.20 to go here in the first quarter, the Titans continue to lead 6-2 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. So here's that full court press from the Titans, but so far Spencerville has been able to cross that half court line without problems. What I really like is that they get back into their half-court set. That's part of controlling the tempo like we yeah. talked about. Nice drive by Sensabaugh, and he's swatted, <laughs> swatted away by Theo Mag. How much, Evan, is the intimidation factor for Spencerville playing the number one team in the state? I mean, a lot of history in that yellow and gold. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really tough anytime you go up against the number one team in the state to keep your emotions in check, especially when they're able to pack the gym. We've got Titans fans on the far side of us, and then we've got them sprinkled in over on this side because there's not enough room over there. Yeah, Josh Smith tried to corral it. It goes off of him, and he's imploring the official that he didn't touch it, but the official says, no, nope, it's going back to OG. So turnovers could be a huge factor in today's game. Yeah, and I think this is a big defensive possession for Spencerville. I know only a six-point deficit wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but also the Titans can Definitely sense they have some momentum. There, White tried to go into Mag, and the ball deflected. Mag's taken up, a little reverse layup, and it goes off the mark. Josh Smith, will, or Dylan Smith, excuse me, grabs the rebound. He'll bring it down the floor. He'll dribble drive, loses the ball. They'll move it around the perimeter. OG in a man-to-man -man defense. This is sensible. Thought about turning the corner there. They'll go Henline baseline. He tries to go reverse, and he no, just misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Mag. Mag outlets to White. Ooh. White finds a streaking. Caden Erford takes the shot and he makes it. Caden Erford with the old-fashioned three as he's fouled on the shot. He'll go to the Lee's famous recipe line for a three-point play. And this is what the Titans can do to you. They turn defense into offense. They move really quickly. They get up the floor. Here's a match replay as you see the contact, the finish. That's really great as well. But how about the one-handed pass from Colin White diagonal across the floor? So he misses the free throw at the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Great job of our crew there with the Mats heating and cooling instant replay. There's Dylan Smith with a nice dribble drive. Dylan Smith, the 6'2 senior guard, cashes in and makes it 8 4. But here come the Titans. They try to get the ball down to Grant Schrader. Grant Schrader loses the ball, and it's going to go back to Spencerville. A little nerves here first in the, in the early going. Yeah, I think you're right. Both teams, yeah, again, this atmosphere is tough to play oh, it's in. Crazy, I, I know it? both teams play in front of a lot of people often, but packed gyms like this can really start to mess with the head. 
Josh Henline breaks pressure. He's guarded by Colin White, the two best players on the team. There's a three-pointer from the outside, and it's good. Carter Orr knocks in a Dales concrete three-pointer, and he closes the gap to 8-7 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. A great job by Henline getting inside, making the defense collapse a little bit, then finding his man wide open outside. There you see Mag with the attempt from the left side. He misses it. Ball goes back up. Rebound comes down. And they're, they're going to get a foul, it looks like. And let's see who that foul's on. Let's see if we can see who this got foul's Grant Schrader on. with the yeah, foul. Grant That's Schrader. his first. So the Spencerville faithful on their feet. Get another look at it here. Yeah, Schrader just came in from behind and grabbed the arm. So Spencerville will trigger the ball in. This is headline. He'll break pressure. He goes fouling. He finds. A cutting Carter Sutoff takes the shot, misses that one. Rebound comes down. Here comes Stecksholdy up the right side. That's the presence of Mag inside. Doesn't block the shot, but definitely alters it. Mag loses the ball. Here comes Dylan Smith, and the ball's poked away from him. So a lot of action happening right here off the bat. 4-11 to go. OG leads 8-7 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. There's a Dale's concrete three-pointer. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Sutoff. Sutoff kicks it out to Smith, and he'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Definitely not a guy you want to leave open. They're fortunate <laughs> no. to get away with that one are the Bearcats. So there's Henline, little jumper from the right side. It goes off the side of the basket. It goes out of bounds, and they're going to say it's going to go back to Spencer. You saw Henline there. It really wasn't set. It was more of a motion shot. He didn't get his feet set. Yeah, you're right, and he was kind of fading toward that baseline, which caused the ball to drift off and hit the side of the backboard. Spencer will take it out underneath their basket. Entering the game now for Spencerville. Number 45, Blake Summers. There you see Summers with the attempt, and they're going to get a foul. I think they're going to get set off with that. I think that you're one. right. That was set off on the call there. Blake Summers is an interesting player. Blake Summers is a 6'5 sophomore who can really knock down shots, and he can go down low post. I really like him as a player, a left-handed shooter. You know how difficult it is to guard left-handers. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And what I like, again, we, we talked about this earlier, Mag got away from the basket. That's a, their best post defender, Ottawa's. And so as soon as he went away, they attacked the rim as soon as they could. Didn't finish, but still a good look. Stexel only thought about taking the three. He'll dribble drive baseline. Misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Carter Sutoff. And Carter Sutoff, such a valuable player for this team. There goes Henline, goes right in. He's blocked. Colin White says, my neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, Colin is a very long player. Yeah, he's he tall. Yeah, he's great at scoring. But he can play defense on the perimeter really well, and he can use those long arms to send shots back. You look at the statistics by the math, Evan, and, and Spencerville comes in averaging 66 a game, Ottawa 67 a game. They both give up between 45 and 48 points a game, so very similar styles. Yeah, you're right. We'll see what happens here, and then we'll talk about this. There's a little give and go, but the ball goes off the back iron. Rebound comes down to Stecksholt. He's trying to get it out. It's stolen by Dylan Smith. Dylan Smith will race up the right side, and here come the Bearcats. Loses it, goes behind him. You see that? I, I don't know if he intended for that to happen. It just happened. Yeah, you're right. But going back to looking at the, the stats and the numbers, one thing that a lot of people don't realize or don't think about in tournament time is that the Titans play in the WBL, yes. which is full of primarily Division II schools a, a and point. good basketball schools. And so, yeah, the numbers are the same, but you think about the schools that each of these teams are playing. And there is Caden Erford, and there you see the stroke. That young man knocks in another Dale's Concrete three-pointer. Tonight's three-point sponsor is Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipsick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Erford's a 45% three-point <laughs> shooter. He's seen deadly. We talked about him earlier. He is absolutely deadly. And it's 11-7 to on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. OG with the lead, 2.25 to go. Henline will bring it out, set it back up for the Bearcats. Coach Sensabaugh imploring his kids to move with the ball. There's a jumper from the outside by Henline. That's off the mark. Gets his own rebound, takes it back up, misses that shot. And ball goes out of bounds. It's going to go back to OG. Henline struggling right now from the field. He said he's tired. He's looking at Coach Sensabaugh asking for a substitute. But he's their best scorer. Yeah, you want right. your guy to keep shooting. You can't be mad no, he's, when he's he gets solid. two yeah. open looks and misses them. That's okay. That's going to happen. Uh, he's going to get a quick rest here, get a chug of water, and then get back into this game because he's a fantastic player in this area, but for Spencerville for sure. So, so set off and Henline will take a seat. There they try to go back to Colin White in a great job. A nice steal by Carter Orr. Here come the Bearcats. This is Sensiball out top. They'll get it over to Dylan Smith. They'll swing it around to Evan Osteen. 
There's a three-pointer from the right side, and it's good! There you see Carter Orr with another Dales Concrete three, and it's 11-10 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Now that's a great play right there from Colin White, and I'll tell you why. You're going to see all night tonight how tough it's going to be for that, because he is the focal point of this offense. And you see right there, they are aware when he goes to the rim. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great job getting Orr off balance just a little bit, spinning back over his left shoulder and getting the contact, getting two free throws. He's a great free throw shooter. Tonight's free throw sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lime on Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. So Colin White knocks in the first one. He's got one tonight, 135 to go. Titans lead 12-10. little confusion there as they have a substitute. I, I was going to say. What, normally they'll reset that, the ball will go back to the referee. Instead, everyone kind of turned around. White kept the ball, and then they said, all right, let's reset. He made the free throw anyway, but yeah, right. the whistle gonna, was blown. So they'll take that off the board, I'm assuming. They'll bring that play. Yeah, they're not going to count the free throw, nope. but they are going to bring the substitute in. So entering the game now is Hunter Stickshield. He comes back in, and uh, Colin White will take the second one. Makes that one. Yeah. <laughs> Could have had a controversy if he missed that one. So. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> well, we wouldn't have screamed, but there's a lot of people in here that would have. So. A little bit of pressure here by the Titans. Spencer will bring it across. Evan Osting gets it across to Summers. Summers will go back to Osting. Osting guarded out top. I'll tell you what, I've been really impressed with Spencerville breaking down this full court pressure. Sure. Not a lot of teams are able to handle that pressure. We've seen Ottawa a lot this year, Danny, and they force a ton of turnovers in the backcourt. Osting with the dribble drive on the baseline. He loses the ball. Dylan Smith will corral. He goes inside. They'll kick it back out. Sense ball thought about taking the shot. They'll go back to the low post. This is Carter Sutoff. Spencerville very patient right now on offense, down 13-10. This is Osting with a little 12-foot jumper. Off the mark, rebound comes down to Summers. Summers goes up, and he's going to be fouled by Blake Mag, on the, or Theo Mag, excuse me, number 11 for the Titans. That was a great job right there by Summers. You'll see on this replay, he just kind of sneaks in on Mag's right, grabs the basketball, and he was far enough underneath the basket that Mag had to reach out and hit him on the shot. So Blake Summers misses the first one at the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Blake Summers, a 6'5", sophomore forward. It's a lot of teams in the area that young man would start for, but <laughs> Spencerville's really know. loaded, so they've got a great bench. They'll, they'll play you 8, 9, 10 deep. So he misses both of those, and it's 13-10 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Danny, take another look at the aisles, specifically on the ends of each side of these bleachers. There are people standing <laughs> I, everywhere. It's amazing. There's another three-point try. It goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Theo Mag. Gets it inside. Loses the ball. There's a scrum for it. They throw it off the back. Not only that, Evan, there are people standing in the doorways. Mm -hmm. There are people in the exit aisles. I have never seen this gym this full. Yeah, it's it's incredible <laughs> how excited everyone was or is for, for this, this basketball game, absolutely. game. So far, they've been treated to a good one. 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. OG will bring it out top. Caden Erford guarded by Summers out top. He'll get it over to Stick Shorty. We're down to 20 seconds. OG leads 13-10. Sense ball goes on to Steck Shorty. They'll be at the Spartan logo. Almost loses the ball. Coach Sense ball wanted a travel call there. Colin White saw a cutting Grant Schrader to the basket. Gets tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to Ottawa Glander with five seconds to go. It's a heads-up defensive play by Blake Summers right there. He just noticed that a guy was cutting. It wasn't his man, so he stepped back and played the passing lane to knock it away. Here's White from the three-point circle. Step back, shot goes up, and he knocks it in. Are you kidding me? Colin White with a Dales concrete three. You got to be – that's why great players play great in great games. We'll be back with second quarter action right after these messages. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And Evan, I don't know how he got the shot off. Colin White just nails a huge three-pointer. And when I say huge, that takes you from three to six. That's big in a game like this. Shooter shoot, man, and that's just a, a shooter's touch right there. That's backcourt violation. Referees missed it. There you see Theo Mag flushes one home. 
and he says, that's mine, boys. And he makes it 18-10 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. So the momentum has swung over to OG as they take an eight-point lead. Yeah, they're playing really tough defense right now, too. A lot of times you see this with the Titans team. As soon as they string a couple baskets together, crowd starts to get loud, and their intensity defensively starts to ramp up. Let's talk about what you saw in the backcourt violation. Yeah, so what happened was they were in the front court, about to go out of bounds, and to save it, they quickly threw it into the backcourt, had an established possession in the front court with the guy that caught the basketball, but it happened so quickly, I don't think the referees were able to keep up. Great call, great call from Evan Skillet. And there's a steal out top. Since the ball corrals it back, he'll go three ball in the left corner, off the mark, rebound comes down to Sutoff. Sutoff kicks it back out. Evan Osting, they'll see a cutting Josh Henline. He misses that shot. Rebound comes down. Looked like it went off of OG, but they're going to say it was Spencerville's ball. I don't want to see that again. Yeah, no kidding. That, one. <laughs> I, that looked to me like it went off of an Ottawa Glandorf player, but I don't think the other official was in a position to, to make the call. Yeah, you're right. And Spencerville's going to have to be careful. They've got a couple, gotten a couple calls that have been missed by the referees. Sometimes that can get to your head and get you out of your element a little bit. They're going to have to string together a couple nice defensive possessions and get some buckets at the other end. So they're going to post Colin White up down low. He takes the turnaround jumper and misses that one. They'll go back inside. They've got Schrader down low, but he misses the ball. And it's going to come back to the Bearcats. Henline leads the break. He finds Dylan Smith, and it's blocked by Colin White. And there you're seeing the length right now of Ottawa Glandorf as they are getting in every shot. Colin White dribble drive on the left side, and he nails it. Colin White, he's got five. He's got the last five, excuse me, for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans, and it's 20 to 10. And this is why he's one of the highest touted, or most highly touted prospects in Ohio. You see him block at one end, get all the way down the floor, and get a layup at the other. There's Blake Summers. Off the mark, he goes for another three, and that misses the mark. Here come the Titans, 6.19 to go. There's a steal from Dylan Smith. And Colin White steals it back, and you're just watching steal after steal. Everybody's on the floor now, and the Titans get a timeout. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout in the booth here. You're watching District Action on WOSN. Tonight's three-point sponsor is Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. So Colin White gets a, picks up a foul there. He doesn't foul. He's fouled. Uh, OG will take it out in front of the Spencerville Benz. They lead 20 to 10. Got the momentum right now. Yeah, definitely. And you can hear the crowd starting to get fired up, and the Titans have a chance now to run away with this one. And, and the huge, that was Dylan Smith's second foul, so big time for the Bearcats as he is a, an effective starter who averages in double figures. Yeah, and a great defender as well. We've seen him get a couple big steals. So the Titans will take their time around the perimeter. Evan, or excuse me, Steck Schulte with the – they'll go Erford on the outside, off the mark, rebound comes down, and they're going to say it's going to go back to Spencerville. So there you saw Caden Erford, who is an absolutely deadly shooter. The 6'4 junior forward averages 13.7. You know, this is a great Ottawa team. Next year with Erford and White coming back, they're, oh, just, they're scary good how good they can be. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. And Dave Westrick will be back as well. He's yes. a 6'6 six, six post player. Yeah, we haven't even talked about him tonight. I know it. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So there's a foul out top on the Titans. And you're right, this is this is trouble territory right now. You don't want to get too far down. You're only down 10 here with 529 to go until halftime. Yeah, big possession. I, I think, I mean, obviously, if you get an open shot, you have to sure. take it. But I think I'd like to see Spencerville just move the ball around a little bit and kind of take a breather some so you can get back on the defensive end and play tough because this Titans team started to turn around. Oh, and Sensabaugh from three land misses that shot. Kind of looked like he was falling backwards a little bit. Yeah, they're starting to rush things maybe just a little bit. And that's, again, a result of tough pressure. When you finally get an open look, sometimes you want to get it up before you're able to, or before you're ready to, excuse me. Mag dribble drive foul, and he's going to go inside. He's taken up against Sudoff. He's going to take it up from the left side. Off the mark, Blake Summers with the ball. They'll go down to Evan Osten. Almost loses it away. Henline with the three from the side. Off the mark. Here come the Titans. They lead 20 to 10. So Spencer will have an all kinds of trouble scoring the basketball. There you see Hunter Stickshield. He gets it inside, puts the shot up, and it's blocked by Summers. Summers is very effective down low post right now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they have two great defenders down there. Set off as well. Sends a ball from the three line. He knocks it in. A much needed triple by Owen Sensabaugh. There's a timeout on the floor with 431 to go. We'll take a timeout here. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. 
Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. So a huge three-pointer, Evan. They needed that in the worst way. The coach's son nails the three. Yeah, definitely. He's a great shooter. He got a nice open look off of a screen, and you can see the good footwork and the good follow-through. Already as a freshman with really good form as a shooter. Titans will go three ball from the left side, and it's good. Hunter Stecksholdy knocks in the triple, and there you see what a quality shooter Stecksholdy is, the senior guard. He makes it 23-13. Sense about thought about shooting now, and they lose the ball. Summers gets it at the foul line. Go back to Ostings. Trying to push it inside the set off. The ball gets on the floor. There's a scrum for it, and the official's going to get together, and we'll see what they say. They're going to say jump ball. You're correct. This goes back to Ottawa Glandorf. So all 50-50 balls right now have been going OG's way. Yeah, definitely. But you're seeing both sides jump on the floor. A lot of bumps and bruises out there, I'm sure. I've seen a couple big collisions as well, both teams. I mean, you don't get this far. You don't have 20-plus <laughs> wins with low effort. On well, you look at both balls. these teams and the streaks they're on. Spencerville's won 15 of the last 16. OG 17 of their last 18. It's just unbelievable, the two programs and, and great coaches. Sensabaugh and McLaughlin, they don't come any better than that. Absolutely. Two great guys as well. Oh, absolutely. Treat us great. Absolutely. absolutely. There's a three ball from the top of the key, and it's good. There you see Levi Unterbrink, the 6'1 senior guard, knocks in another Dales concrete three, and it's 26-13, and OG's threatening to blow this one open. There's a near steal, and they're going to say Evan Ostings on the foul. You saw Colin White go for the – or was it Erford? Excuse me. It was It was Erford. Erford go for the steal, and he gets kind of bumped a little bit by Evan Osting, and they're going to get Evan Osting on the foul. That's a good job jumping the passing lane. And Osting, I, I don't know, maybe he just came in to try to get the ball too hard and sure. got attacked with the foul. Either way, it's more good defense from the Titans. So Colin White will dribble drive foul, and he's guarded out top by Josh Henline. OG taking their time on the offensive end, 3-12 to go. Danny Hilbrook, Evan Skelter from Lima Senior Gymnasium. There's mm. a nice dribble drive by Unterbrink. Ball comes down. Mag almost had it, but it goes out of bounds, but it'll go back to the Titans. Nice take to the rack right there. One thing about Henline, he's playing great defense, but still no points in this yeah. game. That's their leading scorer, averages 20 points a game. He's a fantastic player, just struggling from the field. And a great set off a backdoor cut, and there you see Hunter Stex really knocks it in, and it's a 15-point lead at 28-13 with 2.57 to go. There's another steal, a cross-court pass. Stecksholdy's he's going to take it in for the right side, and he knocks it in. Hunter Stecksholdy, and it's 30-13 to with 2.46 to go until halftime. OG threatening to run away with this one. Yeah, the Titans fans now on their feet, a foul against the Titans, which will settle them down just a little bit. Yep. And I'll tell you what. I've been really impressed with the way the Titans have jumped those passing lanes. We talked about it on the last possession, creating a turnover and a foul. And they've just done a really nice job just recognizing when Spencerville is about to make those passes cross court against this press. They're going to try to trap right here. There's another press up there and loses the ball. And that's what they want to do. They want to speed it up. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak and Delvis. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. So, yeah, the, the press, a lot of people think we're going for steals, but really we're trying to speed them up when we go to a press. Yeah, absolutely, and you see things like that, passes that are a little bit too low to handle, and sometimes you just see bad shots taken out of it as well. There's Hunter Stecksholdy from the three line, and he knocks it in. Hunter Stecksholdy is on fire, Evan. He's got 10 right now to lead the Titans, and it's 33-13 with 2.10 to go on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, he's made two of his last two from behind the arc. You talk about good form. That's another guy. He jumps into his shot. When the pass is on the way, he jumps to set his feet as the pass is being delivered, stays straight up and down, very vertical, not a bunch of motion and just knocks it in. There's a jumper from Osting. That ball goes off the mark, and Summers kicks it out. They'll go back to Sensiball. Sensiball loses it. Henline, deep three from the top of the key. That goes off the mark. Summers tracks it down, but it's going to go back to OG. Here comes Steck Schulte and the Titans up 33-13. They'll go Erford from the left side, off the mark. Colin White doing a great job of keeping that ball alive. It hit the back. It looked like it hit the back of the, or the top of the rim. They'll yeah, go baseball. Nice pass yeah. ahead. Sensible all the way down the floor. He misses that shot, and nothing falling right now for the Bearcats. 
and frustration setting in with 1.16 to go here until halftime. Well, and again, Danny, it's that effort from the Titans offensively and defensively in transition. That pass was ahead of the defense. The defense wasn't there, but you had two guys sprint back, one challenge the shot, one grab the rebound. I mean, this, this team, obviously very talented offensively, can score a lot of points. They play good defense, but it's the effort plays oh, it's, that always strike me as unbelievable and that sets them apart. They never settle for mediocrity. They yes. are always striving to be better the next play. It's, it's amazing the culture that Coach McLaughlin has got over there at Ottawa Glandor. Absolutely. Now they might play for the last shot here, even though there's 40 seconds on the clock. Yeah, they're gonna might as well for, up 20. Yeah, they're going to hold for the last shot up 20. You're absolutely correct. Spencerville doing a little chasing now. Hunter Brink still in the game for the Titans. He had a huge bucket earlier in this half. And they're going to hold the ball here with 23 seconds to go. Spencerville down 33-13. Danny Holbrook, Evan Skilleter from Lima Senior Gymnasium, the Division III District Finals. A game that in the first quarter really had a lot of promise, and it's just really turned here in the second quarter. And you're absolutely right. It's the effort of Ottawa Glendorf. So here come the Titans. They'll take the last shot. Erford from the free throw. He knocks it in. Caden Erford, and he makes it 35-13. And that's how the first half will end. After one half of basketball from Lima Senior Gymnasium, it's all Ottawa Glendorf as they lead the Bearcats 35-13. We'll have second half action right after these messages. Today's halftime adjustments are brought to you by Lima Chevy Cadillac, the area's premier Chevy and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for 100 years, they are proud to call Lima home. So, partner, uh, you got a big hole to dig out of if you're Spencerville. What do they got to do to get back in this thing? Well, you have to hit shots. I yeah. mean, I know that sounds obvious, well, but they've it, missed it, a right. lot of open looks. I think that right now, generally speaking, in the second half, you kind of want to slow down a little bit and chip away at the lead, but you're down 22 against a really good team. And so I think Spencerville is going to have to just move the ball as quickly as they can to get good shots. You don't want to force anything yet, but you definitely want to – move the ball around with some purpose and make sure that you're working on getting some open looks. And for Ottawa, you want to make an adjustment? I, I'm not really sure, <laughs> honestly. They played a really, really good half. Uh, perhaps they can slow things down a little bit in the second half, run through their sets a little bit longer, and take some more time off the clock when they're on offense. But I'll tell you what, they, they played about as well as they could have in terms of their game plan and execution. You know, Evan, it's unbelievable when you look at the Titans. Colin White has seven right now. He doesn't have to get 30 every night. This team is that good. Yeah, they get contributions from everywhere. We talked about the field goal percentages. Even the guys that don't score a ton of points are still shooting over 50% from the field and around 30 to 40% from three. I mean, it's like, how do you defend this team? What do you key on? You key on one guy and another one gets open. You try to stop them in the paint and they start to hit from outside. You start to clog the perimeter. They start to move it inside and Mag gets going. So it, it's really tough. Yeah, it's really tough. I, I look at the first quarter of this game and starting out and Theo Mag was the dominant player in the first quarter. Rebounding defensively, he really contributed a lot to the Titans. Yeah, he scored I think the first six points yes, he and did, he, yeah. he had eight early on total. So definitely a great player, but you can see once Spencerville started to really dig in and try to stop him inside, that's when some of those other guys started to hit from outside. So, so again, this Titans team is going to be tough to stop. So here we go, partner. Bearcats will take the ball, third quarter, first here, 754. Danny Hilbrick, Evan Skilleter from Lima Senior Gymnasium. The district final in Division Three, the number one team in the state. Owen Sensabaugh fire a three, and he nails it. Owen Sensabaugh knocks in another Dales concrete three, and that gets the Bearcats looking good right off the bat. Yeah, and that's a good start. That's exactly what we said during that adjustment segment, right? Move the ball around quickly and with purpose. They moved it around the perimeter, made two passes, set a down screen. He came up, catch and shoot. That's how you want to start. There's Colin White from the free throw line. He misses that shot. It's tracked down by Mag. It's 35-16 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. So the Titans will take their time. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. I'm going to go to Lee's after the game because this is really making me hungry, and I like some Lee's chicken. Hey, I'm a big fan. Just give me a big bucket <laughs> of chicken right. and we're in good shape. I, I, I could drink the gravy. It's that good. <laughs> yeah, potatoes. but the lemonade's okay, too. Yeah, that's I'd, right. I'd say go with that. <laughs> There's a dribble drive by... Ottawa Glandorf, and here you see Grant Schrader, who we haven't called his name a lot tonight. He's got two points on the night, and he makes it 37-16 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Dylan Smith breaks that pressure, and he goes in. Mag contests the shot. Colin White will baseball pass it down the left side. 
They'll go inside. This is Erford, and he just lays it in. So everything going the OG way right now. And they lead 39-16 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, and Coach Sensible is not going to be happy about that transition defense effort. His team kind of lollygagged back on defense, and there was no one there to stop that pass, and it was an easy layup, even though it took a while to develop. Headline fakes the shot and drives in, and Josh Henline mm -hmm. scores from the left side. So they're going to have to get that young man going, and that's his first two of the game. Yeah, it is. That's a nice take to the basket. I like the quick possessions and the quick shots. We'll see if they can continue, but that also means they need to get stops to the other end, which is a tough task. So here the Titans come down. This is Stekschel. He'll go back out to Colin White. Colin White will go between his legs, take it inside. <laughs> he's just Jeez. so strong, and he's, he's, it looks effortless. I, I, he is so impressive as a player, and there you see why he's one of the top players in the state of Ohio. Yeah, just so smooth, and he's not phased by anything. You can be right in his face, and he's not bothered. He's still going to go up over you and float it in. There's a nice job. Number 24, Carter Orr, he gets to the rim, and he's going to be fouled. He's going to go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, I really like what I'm seeing from Spencerville offensively. That's five straight points coming out of the break. So Orr will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. So he misses the first, or the, misses the only one there, excuse me, and it's 41-20. Bearcats trying to claw their way back in this one. Colin White, a little free throw jumper, and he knocks it in. Colin White is going, going, and going. He's got nine on the night. Makes it, for, excuse me, he's got 11 on the night. That pick and roll is tough to defend because Mag crashing to the basket, you have to be aware of him when you're the help defender. So they kind of sagged back. We call it drop coverage. Nice rebound there. We call it drop coverage, but with that guy dropped back, once Colin White comes off the screen, he's wide open for the mid-range jumper. And there again, the transition defense not good from Spencerville. There you see Schrader gets back and he scores. When you watch Colin White play, Evan, his, his release is such a high point and he's got such great length. And it's so fluid. It is fluid. I mean, it, it's we said smooth just a little bit ago. That's exactly what it is. I mean, he just, you can tell he's put up plenty of shots in his career in the gym after practice <laughs> yeah. when no one's around. Like, this guy has taken multiple, many, many shots in his life. I've talked to him quite a few times this year. I've covered out of a Glandorf, and just a great kid. Always takes time mm -hmm. to speak to me. And you can just tell he's, he's going to be successful in whatever he does. So. Here goes Sensible, he'll dribble drive. He gets it inside, and a nice job by Carter Sutoff. A 6'6 junior takes it up, and it's 45-22 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. That's set up by a really good aggressive take by Sensible. He went right at Mag and forced Mag to make the decision to help and just dropped it off for the easy basket. Here you see a lot of pressure from the Bearcats. Entering the game now for the Bearcats is senior number 35, Dylan Cook. He'll come in at number five for the Bearcats. Evan Osteen check back in. Looking for a little bit of brute strength down low from Cook as he's going to battle against the much taller Theo Mag for out of a There's White from the left side. Misses that one. It looked like he was going. Yeah, that's, from our <laughs> angle, that was all. I all thought mad. it was going to go straight in, but he misses that one. Here comes Evan Osteen, dribble drive up the right side, and he's fouled by Mag. Though so a nice take by Osteen there to get to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, you know, I think Theo Mag's going to have a chance to play at the next level. I Not too. quite sure what his plans are, but I think what's going to take him to the next level is just learning that he's big enough to not have to reach his arm down like that. You just saw in the Matt's Heating and Cooling replay, he has, he has the length to disrupt shots, so he doesn't necessarily need to come down and foul. As soon as you start to bring that arm down, that's when the referees are going to blow their whistle. So if he can just stay straight up, keep that arm up, you don't need the block. You just have to be intimidating, and he has the length to do that. So the second one gets ready to let it fly. He knocks that one in. Evan Osting, he's got two on the night for the Bearcats, and it's 45-24 with 4.05 to go on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Great first name for Osting as well. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Those swinging around. This is Colin White. White much more active than he was in the first half. There's another jumper there. He misses that one. Rebound by Osting. He finds a running out to Owen Sensabaugh, and there's a great example of the Titans getting back. Shot goes up, and it's good. There you see Evan Osting running down, getting in a good spot in front of the basket. He saw the defenders on the baseline. He just goes right to the front of the basket, and a great play. Yeah, he had to attack a defender. He had to go up over the top and ignore the hand that was up in the air. So that's a really good finish. So 45-26 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here comes Schrader. He'll go dribble drive foul line. He'll go back to Colin White. Caden Erford posting up a little bit, the 6'4 wingman. Misses that shot. 
Bearcats showing a little life here. Evan Osting will take the ball behind his back. They're down 19, 3-10 to go here in the third quarter. Got to chip away, still have to move with authority and move with purpose, but a basket here would be big. Uh -oh. There's a steal from Colin White on the right side, and he's going to be fouled, almost gets the shot off. Well, he does get the shot off, but it falls short, and Colin White will go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. It's going to be three, I think, against Smith. Yeah, they do call it against it Smith, so that's number Smith. three. It's a good foul, though. He fouled him nice and hard to make sure he didn't make that shot. Just not ideal when one of your best players gets his third early in the second half. Very quiet crowd right now. We're, we're on the Spencerville side, but just not a lot of life out of this crowd. And obviously, for you know, they're down big. He knocks the first one, makes it 46-26 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Colin White's got 12 tonight. Second one on the way, and that's good too. So Ottawa Glandorf's going to take a timeout on the floor. We're going to take a timeout here in the booth with 2.57 to go in the third quarter. The Titans lead 47 to 26. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delvis. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. I get green beans every time I go there. Do you? I, I, yeah, they're, they're amazing. You ever gotten the pot pie? <laughs> I have. I like the pot pie. <laughs> I do. My wife doesn't like green beans. I love them, mm. especially from Lee's. Yeah. I don't know if they cook them in bacon or what, but they're amazing. <laughs> All right. Anything cooked in bacon. And we've got a amazing. basketball game down Oh, here. right, right, right. My bad. <laughs> uh, Bearcats down 47-26. They try to get back in this one with 2.43 to go. Titans continue that stingy man-to-man -man defense. Evan Osting, a little dribble drive, and Ooh. he knocks it in. Evan Osting goes up amongst the trees and knocks it in, Evan. That's great touch right there, floating it up over the tall and long Colin White. So here come the Titans. They're up 47-28. Everything's went their way. There's a miss. Rebound comes down to the Bearcats. Henline streaking down the court. And he's going to be fouled as he goes towards the basket, and they're going to get Grant Schrader on that. So I don't know if Coach Sensabaugh said we're going to run a little more. We're a great transition by the Bearcats. To, and they're going to the foul line with the clock stop. Yeah, absolutely. I think they actually ended up calling that on the ground. They did. You're right. You're absolutely right. My, my apologies. Well, no, it definitely looked close. But either way, I like what Henline did. He wasn't afraid of the contact. Just went right into the defenders there. I'm sure he wishes he had two free throws here. But either way, good heads up play by the vet. So they'll trigger down underneath their basket. This is Dylan Smith. They'll swing it over to Osting. Smith with a jumper on the right side. Gets his own rebound. They'll get a second chance for that one. They'll go back out to Osting. Osting goes into Orr. Orr knocks it in. Nice little 10-foot jumper there by Carter Orr. And it makes it 47-30 with 1.56 to go. And the Bearcat fans are on their feet imploring their kids to play hard. A couple good floaters from Spencerville. Love the touch from the Bearcats. This is Colin White on the left side. He'll take the jumper from the outside. Knocks it in. Colin White with a Dales concrete three, and he nails it. Makes it 50-30. Osting will bring it back down. He just misses off the mark. Rebound comes down to White. White thought about throwing that ball down on the side to Underbrink on the side. There's another three from Underbrink on the side, and it's good. My goodness, it's raining threes right now. Levi Underbrink, the 6'1 senior guard, knocks in another Dales Concrete three. This is what they'll do to you, just demoralizing when a team comes down and hits so many shots in a row, tough shots as well. There you see Dylan Smith off the mark with his three. Colin White from the right side. Splish, splash, and it's three time here at Lima Senior. Back-to-back -back threes by the Titans, and it's 56-30. Dales Concrete threes. And if you had any question as to why this Titans team is the number one team in Division Three in this entire state, look no further than the last three possessions. They just come down. They have so much touch. They've been such a great team all year, but the quality just oozes a lot of times through some big runs. Uh, there's ten line. It'll slice through the defense, gets his own rebound, tries to go back up. And I've said it all year, and I'll continue to say it. It is the most complete team in Division Three in the state of Ohio. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. There's a little turnaround by Spencer. Really miss. I don't know what the future holds as far as regionals and state, but, I, you know, my money is on this team from OG. They are fantastic. And I'm taking nothing away from Spencer because right. they've had a great year, and Coach Sensible and his kids are clearly really, really good. Absolutely. A lot of buy-in on both sides of the scorer's table tonight. Look at this. Colin White, another Dales concrete three. Are you kidding me? He's got 19 on the night, and that's how the third quarter ends. 
So after three quarters of play from Lima Senior High School, the OG Titans flexing their muscles. They're up 59-30. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X, Ultimate Outdoor, division of Alts Seamless Spouting. He's, look, you say what you want. I think he is the best player in the state of Ohio. I really do. <laughs> there, that is definitely a debate that could be had. He is fantastic, and he's doing what he does best, right? You give him a little bit of space, he's going to take it. He's going to make you pay. He's going to put the team on his back. Not that they even needed him to put them on his back at this point in the game. <laughs> he just got an for, assist uh, from his butt, Danny. That's an assist. You're right. He was laying down on his backside. He gets it out to Caden Erford, and he knocks in the Dales Concrete 3. <laughs> it's 62-30 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. He, he is amazing. And Caden Erford is a deadly well, outside well, shooter. And we talk about the buy-in. That's the Titans. They see the ball on the ground, but they're still smart enough. Nice pass inside. End line will get two least famous recipe chicken free throws. But you see them moving off the ball. They notice that he was going to dive, and so they just come over. They find an open spot. He makes the pass, and it's it's an easy three. And there's nobody guarding. Yeah. Take a look at the Matt's heating and cooling instant replay there, and you see Hunter Stecksholy commit the foul there. That's his second. So Josh Henline will go to the Lee's famous recipe three free throw, excuse me. First one on the way, he knocks that one down. Henline's got three. And look, not, not the night Josh Henline won. And we, we've watched him play all year. He is a quality player, player of the year in the conference. He is really, really good. So, you know, credit OG with an incredible game plan coming in here. Yeah, it's been a privilege to watch Josh play for four years. This probably going to be the last game in a Spencerville uniform, but uh, it's been fun to watch his growth. Since sure. day one, he's been a guy that, uh, again, I keep using the term buy-in. I hate to overuse it, but it definitely applies to him and the way he's carried himself throughout the years. Stecksholdy misses that one, and the crowd kind of gasps because they haven't missed many. <laughs> they missed that shot. They'll bring it back up. Erford will bring it out against Summers. White will dribble drive, a little turnaround from the – Free th oh, my you! I don't even know what to say. Colin White right now is putting on a show. He's got 24. He is just destroying offensive sets. <laughs> Save some for the regionals, my That's guy. Right. <laughs> don't get it all out of you now. I'm sure he'll have plenty left. Uh, I talked to him uh, last week at the sectional finals, and I said, hey, I want to get you on my radio show. He was more than happy mm. to come on. And, uh, just a great kid. So there's a three from Dylan Smith in the corner. It goes off the mark. Erford will bring it down. And the OG Titans will walk it down the floor with 6.24 to go in the game. And even up 32, you saw Colin White right there on the closeout get up as high as he can. Can he get this too? Stop three it. Three ball. Dale's concrete three. Colin White. Oh, my gosh. What did you say right after halftime? Well, Colin doesn't need to score. He hasn't yeah. scored that many in this well, game. Guess what, folks? 27 points. And I don't think he's missed a shot I don't, yeah. in the last, like, what, 10 minutes of game time? Yeah. And he's knocking him in from everywhere. Owen sends the ball from the right side. That goes off the – oh, it rolls in. Owen sends the ball with a Dale's concrete three. It kind of rolled in and out, and it goes back in. It makes it 67-35 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. I think we are, yeah. We, well, we are running clock. Is it 30 or 35? There's a three ball from the top of the key, and it's in. Caden Erford. Forgot to tell you about Caden Erford. He's probably the best three-point shooter on the team. If you can believe that. <laughs> but he absolutely, that's absolutely right. Caden with uh, coming into tonight 45% from outside. He's hit a couple in this game as well. So we got a running clock now. Dylan Smith tries to take it in, misses that shot. And you see across the floor there, Ottawa Glendorf is going to bring out all of their starters. Well, they'll bring out four starters, and they'll go out to a much-deserved hand with 5.18 to go. They'll make wholesale changes at Ottawa Glandorf. Coming in the game now, number 14, Grady Smith. Excuse me, that wrong side there. <laughs> number 14, Ryan Ross. So 70 to 35. Look. When we came into this game and, and we, we built it as the game of the year, a lot of people have talked about that. And they wanted to see this match up, and it didn't play out to what it was. But, the, the, you know, don't take anything away from Spencerville. That's a solid team over there. It's a 21-win team, a conference championship team, and they got a lot of kids coming back next year. Yeah, absolutely. Again, this is a buzzsaw. We talk about the Titans and the fact that, again, 
They play in a Division II conference, a yeah. primarily Division II conference. Well, and look at their out-of-conference stuff. I know it. I know it. They, this is a team that plays a really tough schedule, and then all of a sudden they get to the playoffs, and it's like, oh, well, I'm playing Division III teams now. Yeah. And it's it's just a whole other ball game. And so um, and that's definitely a benefit for them. But, again, you can't take anything away from Spencerville, the season that they've had, how tough they've been, how tough they play. And, hey, they've got a lot of really good players coming back for them too. They so do. They do. really looking forward to that. So here come the Titans. They'll bring the ball down the floor. In the game now is Ty Buckland, number one. Number 14, Ryan Ross. Number 12, Levi Unterbrink. Number 32, Dave Westrick. We haven't even talked about Dave Westrick, and he's a solid piece of this team. Yep, and definitely. he didn't have to contribute much at all tonight. So here comes Henline of the Bearcats. There's a cut down low. They'll swing it out to Dylan Smith, and he just brings it back out. Henline will take a three from the left side, and he knocks it in. Josh Henline for a Dale's Concrete three. Makes it 70-38. Henline's got seven on the night for the Bearcats. And by the way, just getting word that Colin White with there's a three ball from Ryan Ross. Everybody's jumping on the three wagon. Right, and with Colin White's effort tonight, he moved into fifth on the all-time leading scorers list for Titan basketball in Titan basketball history. I think he's got a shot to surpass that next. He's year. got an entire another year to play. <laughs> right. I mean, just watch it. Watch what you've seen tonight, and imagine that coming back for another year after a, Stronger, a summer faster, of development. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Josh Henline knocks in the three there. Josh has got 10 tonight for the Bearcats, back-to-back -back threes. Oh, no. There's a three ball from the left side. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's fought for. Put back up. Carter Sutoff will corral that. They'll find Sensabaugh running down the floor. He'll dribble drive baseline. Kick it back out to Dylan Smith. Smith thought about taking the three. Tries to go inside. He loses the ball away. We're down to 342 here. OG up 73-41. This is Carter Orr from outside. Sutoff with the rebound, takes it back up, and he knocks it in. Carter Sutoff knocks in the deuce. He's got six on the night. They're going to try to get another player in here, and they'll bring in number 23, Grady Tamazis. So Tamazis will enter the game. And now they've got no starters in the game then. And there goes Josh Henline out of the game to a much-deserved applause. Dylan Smith will go out of the game. The two seniors and their fans appreciate what they've given them the last four years, and that they should. Yep, absolutely. They've been treated to some great basketball. And really, this program dipped a little bit. So Kevin Sensball has done a nice job his entire career here with a cons or building a consistent program. They dipped a bit, and when Henline and Smith were freshmen, uh, they, were, they were still good, but sure. not quite at the level they're playing at now. And so you've been able to watch this team rise with those two. And it's just been fantastic and a well-deserved standing ovation for two guys that have done a lot for this program. Here comes Evan Osteen. He'll take it up the left side. He'll be fouled. And he'll go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. They are our sponsor for tonight's free throw line. You can find them in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. And now you see a lot of the folks uh, leaving the gym now and it's, it's 100 degrees in this gym it's, it's really it hot and, and this is what high school march district basketball should be <laughs> packed right. gymnasiums with high humidity and just great stuff great stuff so Ostings will knock in the first one he's got seven on the night makes it 73 44. knocks the second one in he's got eight and it's 73 45 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard So the OG faithful and their student body starting the Start the Buses champ. It's pretty warm outside. I don't even think they need to start the buses this early. No, it's not too no, bad. It's not bad at all outside. There's a nice drive. And there you see Brad Mag gets the bucket and he gets fouled and he gives the crowd a little salute there. And that young man is going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Brad Mag, the 6'2 senior forward. I love to see kids come off the bench that don't get a lot of time and get their moment. And good for Brad Mag. Misses that shot. Rebound comes down to Summers. 2.30 to go. We talked a little bit earlier about the only losses uh, Spencerville had this year. And there's this jumper by Carter Orr. And the only losses they had this year were to Kaleida, 45-55, and a really good Marion local team who's headed to the regional semifinals after a win last night against St. Henry. Uh, and then you look at Ottawa Glandorf, and their only losses of the year. Now listen to this. 
This is Murderer's Row. <laughs> they lose to Lima Senior. They lose to Cincinnati Princeton by one, and they lose to Lutheran West by three. Now, uh, that is a, a concerted effort by Coach McLaughlin to build that schedule up. And, and that he, I don't think he's concerned. Look, he wants to win every game, but I don't think he's concerned about those losses right now. No, he doesn't mind losing those games. Yeah, you want to have an undefeated record if sure. you can, but record doesn't matter. Everyone makes the playoffs, Yep. right? Yep. And none of those were conference matchups. And so you get a taste of what it's like to play some really good teams. Not that the WBL and the rest of their schedule wasn't good, but taking a couple losses isn't the worst thing either. I remember a year that Kentucky had won a bunch of games in a row. It was the 2012 championship yes. season. Uh, they had one loss going into the conference tournament. Then they lost in the ch conference tournament championship. And Coach Calipari said that's the best thing to ever happen to us, right? Because we need to know what it's like to lose because we don't want to lose. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-227-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Metzger Financial is our timeout sponsor. So we're down to 131 to go, 78-45. They'll go into the corner. Three ball, another Dale's concrete three by Evan Ostings. He's got 11, and it's 78-48. And we get an official timeout on yeah, the floor. Ryan Ross has some blood they've got to take care of. So Brad Mag is going to check back in for him for the last 120. Did he get hit? I didn't see the play. He actually got hit a while back. It was on okay. a free throw at, uh, at Ottawa Glandorf's end, and the player just bumped him with the shoulder. Nothing, nothing big, just got a knock on the forehead. Here come the Titans up 78-48. Thought about taking the three. <laughs> there you see Brad Mag with the ball. They'll swing it around. Ty Buckland gets it into Mag. Three ball from the top of the key. Off the mark. Summers corrals the rebound. We're under a minute to go here. OG leads 78-48. Danny Holbrook, Evan Skillender, the Division Three District Final. Beating one by the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. There's a three ball by Sensiball, and they'll have a lot of that the next yeah. three years. That young man is going to be dandy. Yeah, he's going to be really good. He's already a great player. He's turned in a great season, 5.1 points per game, 36% from the field, but even higher percentage from the three-point line. He's got a younger brother that will be coming up mm -hmm. next year, and they, they talk about how good of an athlete he is. So lots to, work, you know, lots to be hopeful for if you're Spencerville. So Ottawa Glandorf will hold this one. We're down to 14 seconds. And one more senior to, to mention for the Spencerville team, Dylan Cook. Yes, Dylan Cook. played in his last game tonight. Uh, a guy that I actually really like. I, I called a game a while back where he, uh, a couple years ago where he wasn't even on the roster. I found out the only name someone knew for him was Pickle. That was his nickname. <laughs> and so uh, congratulations to, to Pickle as well on a great career. And that'll do it from Lima Senior Gymnasium. The Ottawa Glendorf Titans win the Division Three District Championship. They take home the win 78-51. We'll wrap it up when we come back right after these messages. Welcome back to Lima Senior Gymnasium, where the Ottawa Glendorf Titans have just wrapped up the Division III District Championship with a 78-51 win. And Evan, this whole game, in my opinion, turned when OG amped up the defensive level. Yeah, absolutely. And they we said it in the beginning of this game. This is a team that turns defense into offense. And they stepped it up defensively. The crowd got into it. They started getting in the face of Spencerville, forcing some turnovers. At one point, the Titans scored 26 points in nine possessions. Multiple three-pointers, multiple makes. Uh, I'm not sure there were many misses in those nine possessions either. So it's a team that can turn it on. This is a buzzsaw in Northwest Ohio. If you are a Division Three team that wants to have uh, any shot at getting to state, you got to look at this Ottawa Glendorf team, and they're they're a great example of how to get there and what you need to do. Yeah, and you saw Mr. Basketball candidate Colin White. In my mind, I believe he is Mr. Basketball. I don't have a vote, but I would. You just saw him take over this. I, and I said it at halftime. He doesn't have to score a lot, and what's he do? He just dominated the second half. Yeah, I mean, he gets it done so many different ways. He can score from the perimeter. He can get inside. We saw a couple step backs. We saw a couple takes to the basket. Defensively, he was huge, too. A couple steals, a couple blocks, uh, a couple really nice alters that d yeah. didn't net technically go, go down as blocks, but may as well have. And so, yeah, fantastic job from him. The Titans definitely have a great shot at getting through the regional and all the way down to Dayton. But this Spencerville team, again, they ran into a buzzsaw. It's tough. 
but a fantastic team. They had a great season, and they're going to return a lot next year. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the future holds for Spencerville. And that'll wrap it up from Lima Senior Gymnasium. The Division Three District Championship, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans win 78-51. For Evan Skilleter, I'm Danny Holbrook, and our entire WSN crew saying God bless, and we'll see you down the tournament trail.